ideas can sprout from anywhere. That goes there, so this is it. This one? The camphor trees, I think. Hideko Tamara Snyder. Try to help keep the integrity. Grew herself. It's sort of like a life clean. <laughs> Two years ago, Snyder decided she wanted to grow descendants of trees that survived the atomic blast in Hiroshima. For 450 seeds. And pass them on for people to grow in Oregon. 100 ginkgo, 100 camphor. To her, it's a symbol of peace and a way to show the resiliency of life, just like herself. Snyder was only 10 when Hiroshima was wiped out. Just etched in my memory. I couldn't erase it. The inside the mushroom crowd I was, I think it lasted 10 or 15 minutes, shaking and the sound so terrifying. One minute, a sixth grader. I was just a child, you know, and... The next, a survivor. I didn't know what to do. Roughly 80,000 people, including her mother, died in the initial blast. Her close cousin, Hideyuki, who had a love for planes. And he was so, you know, athletic and fun. Was also near ground zero. It tears my heart even today, thinking about how he must have looked up and says, oh, B-29. And so his face and everything must have just been scorched immediately. 74 years later, those memories haven't died. Neither have the trees. They are saying, look, look. Life is wonderful. Which today still grow within the city as a symbol of life after death. I can't grow my mother. I can't grow my cousin. But the tree, I could. In Medford, Miles Ruichi, NBC5 News.